Are you an engineering graduate looking for a job in SAP? Do you have any idea where you will be placed among the vast workforce? It's always important to know about a company's organizational structure and work culture before entering it. Here, in this vlog, you will learn about the technical hierarchy of SAP. Before going into the details, let's have a short introduction to the company. SAP refers to Systems Analysis and Program Development. It is the name of the software and also the name of the company. SAP is a German-based multinational company that is popular for its enterprise software to manage operations. It has 107,415 employees as per 2021 statistics. Moving on to the crux, that is the technical hierarchy. Like other famous tech companies, SAP also uses the band system to classify their workforce. Here we will focus on band T. As the band T stands for the technical department, which extends from T1 to T5. Each level has three subdivisions called L1, L2, L3. Movement from L1 to L2 or L2 to L3 is a progression with no salary hike. And movement from T1 to T2 and so on is considered as a promotion with salary hike. The average progression happens every one or two years based on the skills of the candidate. As of now, you must have got the basic idea about the SAP organizational structure. So let's see each band in detail. The first technical band is called band T1 or an associate developer. It is the first position you will be placed while you enter the company as a fresher. As we discussed earlier, each band has subdivisions. The L1 of the T1 is an intern or a trainee. L2 is a junior developer or associate. And like this, the progression goes on. As an associate developer, you are responsible for assisting the clients in the installation, troubleshooting, maintenance and updating of the software. The average annual salary of an associate developer is $112,000. After one or two years of working as an associate developer, you will be promoted to the role of a developer, that is band T2. As a developer, you bear the same responsibilities as in the previous level, but the difficulty of the task will be higher. T2 also has subdivisions like L1, L2, L3. If you have progressed above T2, L2 subdivision, then you are ranked equal to a specialist. The average annual salary of a developer in SAP is $125,000. After around five years of experience, and of course under ideal conditions, you will be promoted as a senior developer or band. T3. As a senior developer, you are fully responsible for the whole software development. He or she instructs the production, marketing and sales department about the attributes of a new product. The average annual salary of a senior developer is $155,000. After this, your promotion period varies based on your skills and working nature. Thus, there is no defined promotion period. The next step in the ladder is band T4 or an architect. Once promoted as an architect, you will be responsible for the design, planning of the whole software development life cycle or project. Sometimes the architect is also referred to as the project manager. It is a high level position that is more respectable in the firm. The average annual salary of an architect in SAP is $200,000 to $210,000. The final and senior most technical position in SAP is the Chief Architect or Band T5. This designation is mostly compared with Director or Tech Lead in other multinational companies. 
he or she is wholly responsible for the technical operations of the company and the average annual salary is $260,000 to $265,000. The technical positions of the SAP come to end here. However, there is still many higher positions as technical or software engineer can go if they develop the business or managerial skills in addition to the technical skills. Here are some of them like CTO, Director, Vice President, CEO, etc. So this is how the complete hierarchy system looks like in SAP. Please note that the organizational structure explained here is based on the best of our knowledge and understanding. However, there can be variations and changes with the changing dynamics in a company with time. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining SAP in a short while, then all the best wishes. I hope you must have gone through the other vlogs in the series. Many more are coming soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos.